Thomas Bossert, a new name added to the top Trump White House staff today, one with a crucial portfolio, homeland security, counterterrorism, and cyber threats. There's nobody out there that can't be penetrated. If, if there is, I'd like to know about them. Bossert, speaking there at a conference about cyber terrorism, was a deputy homeland security advisor under George W. Bush and is well regarded among Republicans in Washington, even those vehemently opposed to Trump for president. Tom is a smart, diligent person who knows these issues about as intimately as anybody I can think of. And for folks like myself who are hesitant um, or, or negative on Donald Trump, <laughs> these are the kind of hires that Trump makes that's very reassuring. Especially since, according to the transition, Bossard's position will be elevated in the Trump White House, on par with the national security advisor, Michael Flynn. With Bossard in charge of domestic security and a special focus on cyber terrorism. Government in the United States, as a, at a federal level, needs to do something to address the threat. And Flynn on international issues. We must regain our ability to truly crush our enemies. Because all those security issues intersect so often, Obama officials tell CNN they think it could lead to confusion in the Trump administration and unnecessary turf battles. Yes, that's right. Lock her up. But declaring that Bossert will be on equal footing to Flynn is also intended to be reassuring, even to many Republicans, who see the retired general as an unpredictable and controversial figure, thanks to statements like this. Islam is a political ideology. It is a political ideology. It, it definitely hides behind this, I, this notion of it being a religion. What won't change from the Obama White House is people in both positions will have direct access to the president and seats at the principal's table at the president's national security meetings. Here's how the current Homeland Security and Counterterrorism Advisor, Lisa Monaco, described the job earlier this month. When I go upstairs about um, 50 paces, from my cave office uh, in the West Wing up to the Oval Office, the president knows uh, it's because something bad has happened, quite frankly, uh, domestically usually, or to uh, U.S. persons abroad. That is uh, my focus, and he knows it.